kind of fool am I to think this world gives a damn about me? What kind of fool am I? Remember that shit. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fam. Let me welcome y'all to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me ask y'all a few questions so I can uh, just get something straight with you guys um, pertaining where we are and our status right now as a community. Please forgive me with those puppies back there in the back. There's about four left, and they are um, insane, okay? So with that being said, uh, let's try to um, overlook them. They're like trolls right now. Every time I get begin to make a video... They just start acting wild and out, okay? So, y'all got y'all corny car, a uh, county course. So, um, request in. If you haven't, go over to Zeus and Pepper um, at gmail.com and, um, you know, you can get the hook up to me, please. All right, listen, you guys. If anybody don't know by now, they should be well aware that these are the last days and times. I don't know if you can read the signs of the times or you can't. You know, all the great empires have fallen. Y'all think it's a joke. I know. Y'all think y'all got... Uh, y'all think it's a joke. So if you believe scripture, then that's what it says. It, it, it says basically we can't go on like this. We've gone on. Um, the battleground now has surrounded Jerusalem. And we're going on. Uh, Syria has just been bombed, and it's almost becoming that circle around our, is the a war of Armageddon. Okay, and uh, as James Baldwin said, the fire next time. I really do believe that we are on the principle, uh, the cusp of something um really dynamic. I don't think a lot of people even give it a thought. They think shit gonna keep going on the way it is. There's no way. You know, some things that you do, you just can't keep doing it, you know, because either it's going to take you out or you're going to be taken out by doing it, right? That's just kind of how nature of life, the pendulum swings. You know, it, it, it life goes and shifts and, and, and um, you know, it shifts. So you have to be ready for those shifts. So what I'm saying now, what's going on on the planet, let me just get to the point. As you can see now, either you have people who are humanitarians and they believe in humanity, and you have another group of people who are nationalists, white supremacists. I don't like to use the word supremacist. I, I, what I really like better is the word fragility uh, or fragile. There's a lot of fragile, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and morally fragile white folk um, who are, are fear mongers. They are being, they rule by fear. They are, um, they will subject anybody that doesn't look like them, think like them to uh, death. And I think they showed you pretty much that on um what was it January 6th when they stormed that capital like that they pretty much showed you I don't know how you can defecate piss all over the capital and have convinced me that these are um true Americans <laughs> as y'all like to say the true Americans those were insurgents insurgents those were treasonous traitors, and there's no way around it. And until you can call a spade a spade, the madness continues, okay? The madness continues. So that's what I want to say about that. So now we're being ruled by either uh, people who believe that black people and brown people should uh, be back in chains, and yellow people should be back on the railroad uh, building mo tracks. 
And if they're not Anglo-Saxon, then they have no place in this universe. And although they may not come out and say that, some of them will. But as a whole, and as a most part, they'll just use buzz and key terms like shithole countries and uh, minorities or the, uh, when basically they are the minority. When you think about, when we talk about narcissistic behaviors and personalities and we never think about it collectively as a country, um, that's where the problem is. Because when you are a narcissistic country who have already set up a program for your fragility in terms of being a white male, then you're already in trouble. Everything that is done in this country is projection. You know, black people work as slaves, yet they're lazy. I mean, Mexicans go and, and build and work from sun up to sundown and uh, uh, do all your gardening and do, all, but yet they're lazy. Uh, they do cartoons with the, the Mexican being lazy. Um, it's really amazing how these stereotypes have infiltrated people's and permeated their mindsets to the point of really no return because it was allowed to be nurtured. It was allowed to be continued without being checked. And now you had a situation where people really think black people are less than, brown people are less than, they are better than, which presents a whole problem. Especially for a person like me, it presents a big problem. Now, I'm not interested in being friends with anybody that doesn't want to be friends with me. I'm not interested in anything at this age that don't represent peace, right? So I'm going to switch gears and ask y'all, who in their right mind got something negative to say about my man, Stevie Wonder, because he wants to get the hell out of America? If you do, you're a fool. If you saying something's wrong with Stevie and he's running and he needs to stay here and fight, you are an absolute fool. Because first of all, what he does for him and his family and his generation is his business. That's number one. Number two, you know when you're dealing with an abuse, re abusive relationship with an abusive partner because they continue to want to be abused and no matter what type of rhetoric um, is spewed by the abuser, they just keep sucking it up and thinking that it's going to change. Even though the lover has showed you time and time again that they'll beat your ass and not feed you and not clothe you and take your money and not give whatever the abuser is doing to you. Lies, lies, lies. You will continue to trust the abuser. And you think that you're dealing with a healthy standpoint. Well, not me. You don't have that many times with me to show me your ass. Maya Angela said, when people show you who they are, believe them. Believe them. So you have a situation where we are being shot down, not only by the so-called or people that are, have been deemed to protect us, and we have to pay a police department money to violate and assassinate us. We have our own rats in our own communities who are being allowed to feed off of and eat off and, and murder other people in the community while they are being protected by their family members. Or People that know they're in violation of every kind of rule that it is, but they'll say, I can't snitch. Because uh, snitches get snitching. So, you, in turn, keep your mouth shut and everybody knows silence is consent and allow all that uh, stuff to fester inside of you like a pressure cooker. And you wonder why we have high blood pressure and all that stuff like that. Because we are not trying to even be healthy. So when Stevie Wonder says he's moving over to the continent,
A lot more of us should be thinking that. I know I'm getting ready to take my first trip to the side um, and to, to find out just how much land I can purchase. Uh, and that has been a mantra for mine for the last year. That has been something that I've been studying and trying to do and put forth for effort for the last year. Yes, because I can smell something that's coming down the pipe. And I'm hoping like I don't have to do like the slaves of old, just jump up and run and move because we're, we're used to having to get up and move. No mats. But if you think that you stay here, if you stay here and not take advantage of having dual citizenship if you need to, then you're the fool. You can't convince me that it's better for me to wake up every day not knowing who's who shot either by my own or by the police department. I would have to be insane. The economy is crashing. These people don't even want people that work hard every day and support families to even have $15 an hour. You, you understand what I'm saying? But they're making millions of dollars a minute. And taking our taxpayers' dollars to support uh, maybe 600 billionaires. And they get all kinds of tax breaks, all kinds of perks, while we eat cake. <laughs> like Antoine, Miss Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. Well, I don't consider myself running. I just consider myself having enough foresight. And, and if God give me the, um, the time, and allow my vision to continue to grow. I'm on my way out because I need peace. And there's no way I'm going to find it here. I don't care how much money I got. I, and, and, and it should be a reality. Those of us um, who really want to live, we got to start thinking about pooling together as families and looking at some uh, property and land and stuff and trying to make moves to get up out of here. Don't you see this ship be sinking? <laughs> Ain't that what Sugar Ray Richardson said? This ship be sinking. Y'all can't see it. Well, I see it very well. And God, God bless y'all who think you can change it. Uh, a more power to you. I contend that this is the devil's domain. Why would the same people that put you in bondage share the wealth with you? Why would that even happen? Or continue to, to stop trying to run a society off of black bodies? They've been too successful. The machine is running too well. Part of it is because we don't want to admit it, admit that we are a captured uh, people. Checkmate. We're conquered. Don't you get it? And as long as you're in America, you're going to live like you conquered. In my most humble opinion, regardless of how much money you have, why do you think you're finding more and more people moving? They still are, are Americans and going to take advantage of that status. But they can no longer be fodder for the fuel of uh, white fragility and the uh, um, whipping of boys and girls for a, a sick, narcissistic society who's using all his institutions as flying monkeys. All of them. From the judicial system to the law enforcement. You don't see white people getting killed and shot down in the streets like this. And you never will. You never will. Do I think all white people are bad, evil, and all that? Hell no. Not at all. I'm just saying they're not the target group. We are. 
And so we need to start taking advantage. We spend a lot of money in this society, okay? And so what I'm encouraging, and I know what I'm what we're doing in my family, at least my immediate family, that is what we're doing. We're on, on the verge of purchasing land. Um, it's a lot cheaper there than it is here. Uh, so all I know is to be able to um, breathe is really what's important. And for somebody to tell you that you're silly or you running away because you're not fighting for reparations and, <laughs> you know, you can't run away from it. Listen, that don't mean nothing is perfect. Any place you go, you're not going to find me to be perfect. But I don't know how some of y'all uh, feel about not hearing sirens every night or not hearing gunshots when you go to sleep at night or not um, even uh, being in a situation where the, um, you're infested with crime. I mean, don't y'all know that's not normal? It's not. Do you know what relief on the body and not to be able to shoot out so much cortisol because you're in a different environment, the environment where the sun shines, the environment where you can grow and produce uh, your fruits and vegetables. Do you understand how important that is? Do you understand what has happened to us over here in America? Well, if that's not important to you, then keep doing what you're doing. But if it is important to you, and you want to make the tour with us, um, let me know. Keep shooting down the email because, like I said, it's going to be a few of us making this trip a few months from now. My father has dual citizenship, and um, it's something that we personally, I should have personally um, thought about and should have done a long time ago. But I know now it's imperative that I, do that and make the move and present the opportunity to my family. At least to me, what draw men and women together is their ideology, not so much their blood. Because I find out that you can have people that can share the same blood with you and y'all can be so far apart and y'all thinking, nah. You know, so that's why, again, Jesus said, woman, behold your son. Son, Meaning that disciple that was there, behold your mother. Because Cain and Abel showed you that you can have two nations growing up in the same womb. So I'm not interested in what y'all think about somebody running because they want peace. And if I'm running for peace, well, I'm going to run on. As Oprah said, I believe I'll run on. No. I don't think what Stevie said was crazy at all. Teddy Riley gone. It's a whole bunch of making the trek that y'all don't even know about. Because they're not bragging about it. They're just getting the heck on. They're still American. They where they were born at. They still are American citizens. Hey, but it feel mighty good, y'all, not hearing them gunshots at night. It feel mighty good getting up every morning not knowing somebody was murdered by your own, their own kind. That look just like them. Yeah, there's a language bear a difference, but I love learning new things. And so when I'm learning the new language or when I'm talking to people and they got broken English, that 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 just intensifies and heightens my desire to keep wanting to learn and to better myself. But I'm not gonna eat no more cake that America has to offer. Not like that. And I'm watching everybody that I love and know being taken out of here by either this uh, prison industrial complex or either the grave. And I've had enough. I really have. So, you know, I just want to say I thought what Stevie said and what Stevie is doing is very profound. And I um, like him. I think that's a great move. Otherwise, you can stay here. And see that 5150, that means crazy. You can have the craziness right at your door. And then you can be so crazy that you think it's normal. Okay? Well, I know the difference. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you like what you hear, 
Please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.